All right, hopefully I'm there. If you said what happened, I don't know. It just went offline. Jesus. You know, maybe I, of course, fatal flaw in the design of this phone holder. When you go to stick it in there, if you don't do it right, you might push the on-off button. I think that might be what I did. Okay, so what I've got is... Hi, Monique. All right, so this is a very soft temperament dog. And if you said you can't use an e-collar on that, you have to, you have to. If you said why, because how else is it going to figure out what you want? The most successful training with the remote tools are it's going to be sensitive, intelligent dogs. Okay, so what I've got is she's got a couple different drills that she could do. So, I don't even know if she's in the shot. Let me see. She will be in a second. Um, and so, I've got the little credit card over there. That's that's the new thing. The keys, the credit card, and your glasses. In an emergency. In the dark. And if you said, well... I'm just telling you, that little olive picked up the money and found it and gave it to me the other day. So I am making her stay on the platform. If you said, what do you want, what do you do if you want her to leave? I can send her off there with the pager. But if I want her to go get something, because I installed that little duck noise, I can use that now to help me show her that now it is okay to go. Now, because what you don't want is one that's just won't even move, won't even go off of there. And that's what you know, I do remember in the beginning. She didn't really move around that much. So if I want to get her, I can use the pager can mean many things, but. Yay. She said, what happened? I did it too big and she thought I meant the duck. She's going to go get it. She's looking for the duck. <laughs> so if you said, what is that time? I made it too big. So make it tinier, so watch. If you said, well, because you said that meant the duck, and it, you're, we're, I'm at the point now, you are trying to, we're at the point now, Michael, you are trying to contain the drive. We don't want it to just, and he's all, get out there and get her all cranked up. No, that wouldn't be hard to do. That wouldn't be hard to do. So if I want her to know I want her to stay, I can use the pager. So blind, I can't even see if the dog is in the shot. Okay, there's the dog. Okay, hang on. Let me just move my thing. Right so I let her know I wanted to stay up there. I think a credit card deliver is a good thing, and if you said, oh my god, don't, yeah, this is how stupid I am, I'm at, I never even use these credit cards, I don't even know why, it was something to do with the hurricane or something, I don't know why I was using the stupid thing, and it wouldn't work, so now I'm at the store looking like one of these people, oh, your card has been declined, I call USAA, so, oh, what's the deal, I just have all kinds of credit with you people. She goes, we switched over to Visa two years ago. <laughs> That's a MasterCard. No wonder it didn't work. <laughs> okay, so my strategy now is to switch real quick to my bumpers. If you said, what's her level of interest? Objects, bumpers, and then the duck. <laughs> the duck and the wings are her main thing, but that's where she's going to get. You've got to do drills. And I put that thing about if you don't train them in heightened reality, they're not going to respond in heightened reality. But if you don't train drills in not heightened reality, it is 
going to make them less mechanical. <laughs> Does that make sense? So the drill, the drill is in medium reality. This dog is kind of always in heightened reality anyway, but I'm making it more, if you said, well, drills should have somewhat of a mechanical. Yeah, they should be somewhat mechanical. That's why they're drills. And that's why when it's, when you are in heightened reality, it's gonna be easier to fall into if something's very mechanical. They just, people say, I just went into autopilot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what you need, you know. Muscle memory is very powerful. It is. If you said muscles don't remember, yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Okay, let's just do it one more time. So, you know, these objects, if you said, well, what if you put that credit card, these, and the wing? She's going to go for the wing. But that's too heightened reality for her. And so in order to help, to help her learn to be more mechanical, it has to be not. <laughs> Michael's like, what? I'm just trying the dog lady. But that's how I'm getting, if you said get her steady and heightened reality for her, it's better to do it with this. So that, she knows I want her to stay there now. I think. What's slightly? It was my arm. I do want to start sending it with my arm, though. All right, hang on. Yay! <laughs> Yay! It worked perfect that time. I just smoothed out the little part in the middle. Oh, she's absolutely perfect. So, I mean, honestly, I think any dog can do... I don't even know if she's in the shot, but... I think any dog can do... I think I can move this camera. Hang on. Any dog can do a simple three-object drill. If you can get him delivering to hand, if you said, well, I can only get it to do it across the length of my living room, who cares? That would still be... You know, something that you could do instead, because you, if you said, what shouldn't people do? They definitely should not throw a ball and stuff in their house. They shouldn't. You, if you're going to throw stuff, you really have to do it outside. If you're going to do inside stuff, do it as a deliver to hand or a little drill like this, rather than getting them all amped up. All right, let me just throw it one more time, so... Steady, Michael. <laughs> but I'm just. Uh -oh. 
that I am sending her away. I'm not releasing to her to go. I'm, I'm sending her away with the pager, and there is a difference. I'm ready, though. She gets off there. I don't know. You send me a picture of the platform you guys have at home. You said, where was she going? She was going to get a drink of water, but... Did she go look at her ear? <laughs> Um, I didn't realize until the last second she was going to pick up. But I said she'll go get one now. So I think any dog, and that's what you can do, Chelsea. If you said, well, what can I do? If you said, well, that whole drill only took like 30 seconds. Yes, do 30 second drills. Do 30 second drills. <laughs> I mean, everybody says you have a short attention span. Well, there you go, 30 seconds. Couldn't possibly be pushing a passive limit with that, now could we? Yay. She is thirsty now. She didn't want to go, though. Yay. <coughs> so I've got... What I'm doing is working the little hand finger thing. Yeah. But they, they do have to kind of be steady, but I can do it. I can do it a little bit farther away if I just do one. She's all about the water. So, see, that's all it took. My suggestion of going over by there. The only thing you have to watch, not just with her, but any of them, when you take them swimming. I had these one people one time, that dog Riley. The dog would swim in their pool all the time and pee all over the place. Oh, it's got a medical condition. It's got this rare condition. Ectopic ureter. Oh, it just leaks urine constantly. So they drive it here from Naples. I said, did it leak urine on the way here? And because Dr. Cox said almost that he went on the freaking veterinary chat boards, which is a bunch of intellectuals, and they said, without fail, this thing's going to have urine scalding. If it has ectopic ureter, it, is, it will have urine scalding. So this thing has no urine scalding at all, and it didn't leak any urine on the trip over. And I said, well, what do you mean? Oh, well, we restricted the water. Well, that would certainly, you know, if you had a medical condition where your bladder leaked, it's going to leak. <laughs> it doesn't have that condition. They're morons that convince themselves. <laughs> And they wrote back and said, oh, well, we just, you know, oh, I've bullied them. Bullied them? I'm trying to explain to you this dog. There's nothing wrong with the dog. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Did they ever believe me? No. Am I going to get my chest on the... Yeah, I will. Okay. <laughs> Marty's like, who cares? All right, so I can get the dog back up there. Gracie. Yay. I can use the word stay. I don't really use it, but stay. It's a drill, and if you said, what, it's an obedience drill, it is an obedience drill. It is an obedience drill, but it's, you know, they see it still is fun. Okay, and then she will get the... Let me see if I'm in the shop. Okay, because so she's got the micro towels from picking up the keys and stuff, too. She loves the treats, so. Yay. Oh, shit. I don't think, I think it on your lap is a good idea. I, you know, I saw that yesterday with those little boys. Did you see the little boys with, uh, 
up, Brody? I mean, was that the cutest thing ever? Especially when the two of them were doing it as a team. One of them was putting it down, the other one was giving them the treats. Little kids are afraid of dogs. That little boy only weighed 40 something pounds. I'd be afraid of Brody too. I was afraid of him too when he first came. He was only 20 something pounds in. I was afraid of him too. But I mean, to me, that just validates. If you said, what validates that you, your recall? I, I've figured out that when people laugh when they see it, that guy Stan used to do it, and they were all doing it yesterday. They all were laughing, and if you said it was an involuntary laugh based on, yeah, it was, it's an involuntary laugh based on what they saw. It's very exciting work. I'll play it back somehow and figure this out for me, Chelsea, because I want to utilize this. Somehow, don't ask me how, in the process of, and it happened one time before, in the process of shooting the live video, it also recorded it on my phone as a video. If you said, how? Apparently, I must have hit some button. That's how. What do you mean, Chelsea? What do you mean, how? Apparently, hit some button. That's how. He said, well, I don't know. <laughs> I just noticed after I went on there to take some pictures that there was a huge video on there, and that's what it was, which I said, great, because I can crop out maybe some of the recalls. But if you're not getting that reaction to your recall, maybe you should be. It's funny to people. It's if you said, well, they, it's a trick, you know. If you said, if you make it do another trick, they laugh. Maybe not as involuntarily as that. All right, so hang on. Let me see if I can get her to get my keys, credit card. This is the Marnie and kids training, uh, Michael. We get him to get, get her to get the keys, the credit card. Whoops. Yay. <laughs> he said, uh-oh. <laughs> so the default has to be and it is I think it is you, know, you can probably test people think about this Chelsea we do a test we have you know these people come we have like some dog training boot camp and we have them you know work and doing this deliver to hand and we act like existentialists recording them and writing down mm -hmm. as soon as it drops it it this handler tries to help the dog, or this handler demands the dog give it. To you could learn a lot, am I wrong? Just seeing what their reaction. This handler, even after repeatedly told not to point, continues to point, they're out. <laughs> All right, so let me get her staying up there. Stay. She's precious. Okay, so that's more of a task. She's not as much in drive. If you give her a choice, if there's wings, she is birdie. I mean, she's very birdie. All right, hang on. Let's, uh, So as soon as she got off there, I can't even see if she's in the shot. It's just a bad angle. The sun is at a very strange angle right now, this time of year. Um, I'll tell you, the weather's perfect, though, I'll tell you. If it was like this every day, I'd be happy. Okay. I got my Bocephus hoodie on. Yeah, Jamie had never heard of Bocephus either, Chelsea. Yeah, never heard of this guy. Never watched NFL football either, probably, because I know he is on there. In the 80s, that's all I listened to, non-stop. 
Posifus. It really was. It was original. It was the original alt country. Wow. You talked as well. She saw it too. She saw the hawk. So she'll, she's got various ways you can get her to bring you things, Michael, but we do want to safeguard that. And I think we do, you know, and I mean, if you said, well, she was just only going a very short distance to that, thing. you do want to add distance with this dog. And if you said why, if you said what initially, I mean, I do remember initially she didn't move around that much. So if you said, what would that be? Well, if you needed it to move around at all. So I'm, I'm sending her. Yay! If you said, what am I basing the fact that I'm sending her, not releasing her on the, the way it's, the sound that it's making when it leaves there. Okay, all right, come on, we go out here real quick. Let's see if the mailman came and brought my packages. If you're saying on Sunday, I know. First I heard the post office is going out of business. Next thing, they're delivering boxes and boxes and boxes on Sunday. And from what I can tell, the whole mail truck looks full of other boxes they're taking to other people's houses. <laughs> so I don't feel too bad. He said, don't you feel bad making uh -huh. this guy work on Sunday when you're so... Yeah, uh -huh. No, because I think this guy probably uh -huh. needs the money. <laughs> that's how I justify it. Maybe that's how people justify it with me. The reality is I don't have the money, so that's why I don't want to. All right. So if you said, what have I got? What have I got? What have I got when the dog is out like this? I'll tell you what I've got. I've got the ability to turn the dog in a hairpin turn and get it coming back in my direction. And if you said by virtue of what? By virtue of the pager and the neck. And I think that's what we have to understand, Chelsea, if you really are conditioning the dog, hang on. You're, you're figuring out, I mean, you're finishing it up by fortifying it with the neck. If you said, I don't fortify it with the neck, you've got to. I have a feeling the mailman could be coming in any second. If you're not fortifying it with the neck, you're leaving it up to them to do it. Oh my God, this new foster dog I might be getting. Uh, Off-leash canine charged him $2,500, I guess, to go through their training program and but then said they wouldn't charge him for the boarding and kept it there for nine months. Apparently there's some video. All right, if you said get it back. <laughs> yeah, anyway, when Cheyenne was here yesterday, that's why I can't even have, I don't, I can't have kids here anymore. It's, it's, it's too much for me. But Cheyenne keeps running and jumping over the barrel. And then the last time she runs and jumps and slips and now has burst into tears. Uh, this is after I've told her, don't do it. I just didn't have any reaction. I could see how she fell, but she, yeah, she wasn't wounded. She, I can see she milks George with this crying thing. It works on him, too. Who could blame the kid? Who could blame the kid? It works. All right, if you said, where's the dog over there chasing the squirrel? Gracie! And gives me the shake up. So I can drive the dog to the platform or I can drive the dog to the handler. I can do both. And I can make her stay on the platform or I can make her come off the platform. And you have to balance it out. So if you said, what do you, how can you, yay, how can you get her off there? 
it's really just going to be with the name and the pager. And if you said, how can you get her to stay up there? Well, you could use the word stay or just the pager. But Gracie, yeah. Yeah. if I want her to get up there, dog and training. Yeah. If you said now the stay is implied. Was trying to get Bailey. Well, maybe we should invent some sort of anti hawk device. We'll find out what hawks are afraid of, and then we'll design some kind of collar that if a hawk gets near, it's a computer program that can sense the silhouette of a hawk going overhead at this animal. And then this thing roars like a, a bear or something. We'll seek out the hawk's natural enemy. Using the theory of vibrational communication, we'll invent a haptic collar. Because if you said there's a collar that screams like a hawk. Oh, there is a collar that screams like a hawk. I mean, that might work. A hawk screaming at another hawk. It would then see, of course, we'll have to put her in a hawk costume. We're going to have to go with that one, Chels. This other thing isn't going to be invented for 300 years. Yeah, there's a dog tra collar four pointers that when these things get on point you can make the collar scream like a hawk and if you said why it makes the birds lay down until these if I can only guess slow walking hunters the hunters they have these days they're not quite as fit as the ones they used to have catch up to these dogs and can then flush the birds out so the hawk screaming thing assures that they're not going to take flight yeah very very interesting Okay, so, yeah, now it is. All right, so let me see if I can just do my little drill with the wing instead of the, the bumper. So she's kind of steady, Michael. I kind of got her steady, but she's such a soft temper. You'd have to be careful. You said, well, I just, I've got, I want her now where she doesn't move at all, like I've seen on Off-Leash Canine. It's, it wouldn't take much. I mean, if you just... If she thought she was doing wrong, and the only way not to do wrong was not move. That's what she would do. This platform I like, Chelsea, to help them understand to stay up there. And if you said why, because if they, they can make a smaller mistake by going to this platform, and then you can get them back up there. So you're saying, don't even go there. If you're not even, you're not even supposed to go there, you certainly shouldn't be going over there. You hear that screaming? Steady. Yay! <laughs> and she delivers right to hand. The way I'm kind of out right now is if she gets off there twice, I do the pager. The third time, I do do the neck. And if you said, what if it was a real hard hit? Yeah, you might do the neck the first time. You might do the neck the first time. But with soft temperament dogs, and if you, you know, when people say, you know, there aren't breeds with more testosterone. Okay, so we're going to put a pit bull next to this dog and say they have equal levels of testosterone. <laughs> people need to understand, I, every, I understand everybody seeing things through a filter, but... There is a filter of, I want as much as possible to try to be realistic about what I'm saying. There is that concept, too. Not I'm all biased with the filter. If you said, what would your bias be? I told that girl, the most dangerous dogs I've ever seen in my career were pit bulls. Why would I make that up? It tightens, honestly, my chest up thinking about some of these dogs. Jesus. That one bull, the red pit bull. 
Dr. Me referred him to me. The wife didn't like the dog. It had attacked her. Who could blame it? The guy would not get rid of the dog. He would not get rid of the dog. He built a kennel that had, it was like sort of like a jail cell thing because the guy traveled all the time. I can't remember what he did. It's a really lucrative job. He's kind of like a biker type, but whatever it was, he was really successful. He always had to travel. So he built this pen where the wife could like use a stick to slide the bowl of food under. Yeah, like a total prisoner. So that she never had to. That's what I told him to do. So she's not going to take care of this stuff. When you're out of town, you better fix up something. She doesn't have to be in contact with it. Oh, she's afraid of it. Yeah, I would be too. Freaking 90 pound pit bull grabbed her by the forearm. I don't remember what the context was, but yeah, she was scared of it after that. Who could blame the woman? Was it? <laughs> Yay. Oh. So I did use the nick that time and I was only on 20, but now I followed my rule. I followed my rule. You know, two times with the pager, and then on the third time, the nick. And if you said, oh, she, you just, just diminished all the style. I didn't. I didn't diminish all the style. I'm, I safeguard the style above. If you said it would look, if you know, if it sat there with its head down and stuff. So nice. You hear those hawks screaming over there, though. Look that collar up, Chelsea. It's very interesting. I want to start another e-collar group. I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to the other page. I don't even know. Uh, but it's a very interesting concept. It's a, it's a very, uh, if you said who's really studying behavior geared toward, uh, bird dog guys, they're, they're, you know, there's a lot invested in these hunts and stuff. And if you said, oh, there's no place you, you can go and pay thousands of dollars. And yeah, there is a couple, all kinds of places in South Dakota, lodges and everything else, where if you have all kinds of money that you want to spend on hunting, uh, you can go there. And they'll, they've got trained dogs, they've got guide dogs. Not, I mean, the guides have dogs that hunt, and you hunt over these dogs. And she said, was basically blowing these birds out of the sky all day long, from what I could tell based on these pictures. Pictures of birds and birds and birds. Lines up everywhere. I just have to look away now. I just, you know, I could be some jerk that says something, but... They're making a lot of duck stew and stuff. Who am I to say anything? All right, so hang on. Let's just do it one more time. But that's what I've just slowly kind of worked her into being steady. And as she said, she rocks it. No, she's not rock steady. <laughs> You gotta get the platform, Michael. Or just send me a picture of the one you have. I do think, you know, it's... And I want you to understand, I am, I am sending her away with the pager, and there is a difference. And she was all there, ready to go, and then I just said, okay, okay, release. I'm, I'm not saying that, I'm saying, bring me his head on a stick. <laughs> Bring me that bird's head on a stick. And that's, and it is, it's a difference in momentum. Yay. And she's not thinking, if you said, where did the nick happen? When I did the nick, it happened 
I can even see. It happened about right there, back behind the platform, and then I sent the dog back up there. So, I can do it one more time. But it's just, if you said you're not doing it in heightened reality, exactly. You have to do some of your training not in heightened reality. But if you do it in complete absence of heightened reality, it's not going to work. So what are you basing that on? I could sit out here all I want and then another dog come running out. Oh, she won't do it now. Oh, because another dog's there. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, I've got things in place, but she's really such a cute dog. You're not going to be able if you said I want, you know, to put a pinch, pinch collar. <laughs> That's what I said. I do, there's a pond full of pinch collars. I'm going to go find one of those pinch collar videos. Okay, so hang on. So my job is to help the dog understand it needs to stay there. And I could do that by just telling me. So that was what the little mistake was going on the lower platform. I could push her back. Now she understands. If you said, where would the nick happen? Off of this platform. I actually did it right there. She puts it right in my hand, Michael. She puts it right in my hand. So. It's not heightened reality, though. I'm, I'm unheightening the reality as much as possible so that the dog can be clear in the head. And I think you have to train. You have to do drills. You don't train them on the job. Well, no, there is on the job training. Never mind. Cancel that. <laughs> um... You've got to think of it that way, though. You, the drills are not drills. There's drills, and then there's this is not a drill. <laughs> I'll write that down, Chelsea. Your training must consist of two things. Drills and this is not a drill. <laughs> Am I wrong? It's true. You need to write that down. Your training must consist of two things. Simple, purpose-driven drills and, and put in real big. This is not a drill. <laughs> okay, hang on. If she wants to do the same. Yay. <laughs> oh, I put an extra wing on there. It's even better. So I'm decidedly sending the dog to go. It's, I know you see what I'm talking about, Chelsea. I'm not releasing it to go. I'm shooting the momentum that way. And this is a dog that started out. I said I better be very careful because she doesn't move around. So there isn't going to be a better way to send one that I know of. If you said there's a better way to send one than what you're doing with that pager, I'd say, what? Look at her tail. She can't stop herself. And, and that's the thing with her, Michael. If, we, if I started throwing it around, she'd be all cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs in about two seconds. Whoops. All right, just do it one more time. And I've just started her with this. She's, you know, once they know how to learn what you're trying to teach, you know, it doesn't take time and patience and da 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 It takes you to be a good teacher. <laughs> Write that down, Chelsea. It doesn't take time and patience. When people say that, it's all intangible. You know, it's like, so, okay, well, it's like people call you and say, well, I train it myself, but I don't have time. Well, that's certainly the only thing I've got that you don't have. So since I'm sitting around with all this free time, I'll train the dog for you, Mike Lardy. <laughs> of course, they don't know who that is. So. Oh, and then they just, then you just go, oh, sorry, I got you mixed up with this. 
someone else. <laughs> okay, so. And the reason I kind of threw it up in the air, because if she would have run over there, I would have picked it up before she got there. So she knows. So I pushed her back up there, Chelsea. I pushed her from there to there. I, I like that whole concept, though. I do. I like the whole concept. Pushing it from there to there. And then it's it, you've got two boundaries. said I didn't. Oh, I sent it. Oh, I sent it like a little bat out of hell. Oh. Yay. It's, it's, it's getting more. The collar is making, if you said it went, it went with more force that time, it did. And he said, that's the collar. I'm ready, though. If I want her to stay up there, I've got to be able to say that from a distance. If you said you can't, I can get her off of there, but I'm, I am going to use the pager. If I want her to get off of there, I'm going to use the pager in her name. So if you're going to send her to go get something, I'll start using the word back. And that's a Bill Hellman thing. He said, don't use their name to release them to go. Use the command back, even though it isn't a blind. Send them on marks with back because you're sending them to go, not releasing them to go. If you said, I'm going to release them to go on marks and I'm going to send them to go on blinds, Bill Hillman would say that doesn't make any sense. Bill Hillman would say send them to go on marks and send them to go on blinds. You know what I'm talking about, Charles. Anyway. Oh, she's absolutely perfect. Anyway, no court music. Anyway, I can see the crash cracked the screen of my phone yesterday. I'm gonna have to go get the new iPhone 8. I'm just gonna have to take one day. I'm gonna have to not do videos one day, and I'm gonna have to go um, and get the new because I'm sure it's got all kinds of features. Anyway, just look up though if you can figure out for me how to, and then when I get back in there, tell me what class you want to take. Um, how did I accidentally record and go live at the same time? Is there a button that you hit on the live where it records it too? It's happened twice. And if you said, what happened? I don't know. There was people here. I don't know what I did. What do you mean, what did I do? <laughs> Anyway, that's where we're at. Yeah, I'm glad, though, because those Brody recalls were fabulous yesterday. And that is, I do understand. If you said nobody ever laughs when I do my recalls, they probably didn't used to do it with mine either. But I've noticed it's an involuntary reaction to seeing that behavior. I probably laugh, too. If you said, what is it doing? It doesn't do anything to not fortify the behavior. And then when they were leaving, she had parked way, way up there. So she said, well, is Brody okay to go out there? I said, yeah. So, of course, the kids, as kids do, started running ahead of Jessica and her mom and started running to the car. So, of course, Brody started running after them. And so if you said, what did I? I said, Brody. I called him back. And I mean, this thing's coming like a bullet. Well, unfortunately, Grandma was right in the trajectory. <laughs> but he just kind of jumped on her. But then I got him. But... You see what I'm doing, Chelsea. There is a market, and if you said, I don't want a cue to, to send it away, I would say, why? Why? Why wouldn't you want that? You know, why would you not want that? You would want that. 
good. Okay, so let me take one more time just to show. Because she is. She, if you said she's getting it, and now she, all she's saying to herself is your little pager thing is some kind of starting gun for a purpose-driven behavior. <laughs> say, oh my God. Say, oh my God, who are you? Who are you? Let's go to lunch. <laughs> um... But she, these dogs are very sensitive. You said she's not watching you, and she is watching me very closely. Slid the mat. <laughs> anyway, Michael, you got a lot to work with, and when you guys go away this summer, bring her back. I'll be able to do a lot more with her. You know, I just. You're mostly using the pager, honestly. If you said, when am I using the Nick? I did use the Nick for that a little bit, but more you're using the Nick. Okay, here we go for a little nature walk. Oh, she loves it though, Michael. She's definitely birdie and got a lot of drive. Because you said, well, if you put the wing, the dumbbell, and the keys, she would definitely get the wing. Oh, yeah, she would definitely get the wing first. Okay, so I can release her if you just out of there. Okay. Let's just let her go swimming one time. And then I'll be right back with a puppy episode. And then, then I have to watch a snapped film festival. I find it so fascinating. All right, so I do practice one thing. Gracie! Yay! <laughs> you said, well, that was called a hairpin tug away from the water. And I do want you to practice that. And, you know, there isn't any reason to call the dog. Oh, they... Unless it takes off. If you've never been the recipient of a dog taking off, now this effing dog is way over there barking at somebody else and you're way back there and this effing dog doesn't even hear you, then you don't need this kind of training. If you've been, ever been subjected to that by a dog, ay, 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 it's the worst feeling ever. And she will retrieve in the water. I'm not going to do that today, though, because... Listen, you hear the hawks, Jules? Yeah, look up that collar. It screams like a hawk. And that does, if you said the dogs don't fit, it isn't designed for the dogs. It's designed for the birds to hear, but it speaks volumes, I think. Anyway, it's snowing, Chelsea. Oh my God, look, it's snowing. How exciting. It's such a magical place. Oh, the little snow trees. If you said, is that what they're called? No, I guess botanists actually call this a weed. <laughs> People go, what kind of plants are they? Oh, they have a name. They call them weeds. <laughs> Kelly calls them beautiful natural landscaping. It's a magical place. I mean, come on. It just starts snowing. Her tail never stops wagging. If it did, you'd know you were doing something wrong. So she's got a silent recall. She's got a water recall. She has a default recall. Yes. What we like to call the conventional recall. Yeah, the bird hunting is the most sophisticated kind of training that I know of. And if you said, well, it's freaking old. It's old. It's old, and they were the ones that figured it out. That's the dog ran off. Jesus Christ. There's got to be something we can do. Invent something, something, please, anybody, something. So this dog can do a very, a very concise hairpin turn. Gracie. <laughs>
and I'm waiting until she runs Michael and Dan Pedro, and it doesn't take much. I'm just giving one little, he said, how long did I hold it down? About one second. So I want to try to do it. I'm following a lot of different rules when I'm doing it. I'm, if the dog is starting to go real fast, oh, I'm doing it then. Uh, if I'm always doing it when the dog is going slow, if you said, what would be better? Walk around for 20 minutes and wait until it ran fast and do it. Or do it 20 times when it's going. <laughs> I load my questions so much. There's no possible way anyone could get the wrong answer. Gracie? Yay. Yay. And she's starting to give me a little bit of a refusal. Her head went to the side. And if you said, what is Oh, I'm saying I'm making a note of that one. I'm saying, and that's what you're doing. When you're training, if you're moving along on any kind of a flow chart, you're making notes all along the way. So if you said, what are you saying to her? Oh, I'm saying to myself, there's a rabbit or something. Or maybe that's what these hawks are after. Whatever they are, whatever it's out, whatever's out there is probably laying down right now. You said these things aren't designed to get up in that bush and hunt. Oh, no, they're not. But I'm saying to myself, I'm going to go ahead and put my nick on about 20. Because if this dog darts off, oh, I just heard something over there. Uh huh. You heard it too. You saw, I drove her forward. I need to talk to people about that too. They need to have drones fly over them when they're training, you know, and say this thing never went away from you or then suddenly took off. And you should have seen it coming. Okay, so if I go up here, there's she'll kind of have a chance to go up here. Well, she's pretty good with you. Oh, look at her, look at her. Oh, there's something up here. There's something. Well, if it occurs as a default, if you said part of what do you need to do, I need to make sure I can turn the dog with the nick. Oh, there's something right there you can say. These rabbits are dumb, too. Then one goes to the same spot every day. Any predator worth its salt. All right, so I'm going to make sure I can turn this dog with the nick. Oh, if I had to guess, they're right there. Oh, yeah, oh, it's right there, whatever it is. Whatever it is. Gracie! Yay! Yay! <laughs> so, sorry, accidentally hit the button. Yeah, that's a fatal flaw in the design, trying to hold on to the phone. But what I, whatever it is, is right there in the bushes. So I did my nick, but what it did was made the dog go that way a little bit, and then I spun it back this way with the pager. Oh yeah, whatever it is, is right around here somewhere. So I've got, I'm on, I'm on 30 on my nick. Oh. You said there's something under there. I'm sure there is. I wouldn't doubt it a bit. Gracie! Yay! Well, she is going to give you the shake off. I mean, it's just, it does it. <laughs> she said, I said, who cares? I said, who cares? Okay. If they're not running at you, just be sure. <laughs> I think we need to have, and if you said people are, these people on these chat boards and stuff don't want to 
understand it this they don't want to understand it this deeply but I've got to say to myself am I driving or dragging this dog's momentum and if you said when systemically I need to systemically be asking myself am I dragging or driving the momentum you're doing one or the other Let's you said no you're not yeah you are I can be dragged into doing things too it's awful. And then after that, I figure out 900 ways to never have to do it again. <laughs> Chelsea's like, oh my God, my very godmother. Yes, I've got a lot of strategies for getting out of social situations. I'll share with you in your hair, Chelsea. <laughs> ah, various stories. So, anyway. All right, well, that was a good little workout. But that's where we're at, Michael. I've got her now steadied up. And we can send her with the pager. And I'm just going to give you some drills to do. And we just have to make sure Marnie and the kids are not just throwing the ball around in the house all the time. It, that just feeds into the frenetic behavior. And then pretty soon, the people don't understand why the dog doesn't calm down. So you really want them to have sort of a certain mode in the house. And then outside, yes, run around out there, do the stuff out there. Any drills and stuff in the house are not heightened reality. Yeah, the, the, that's... It, it, okay, here's what here's how we have to think of it. If there's one place you don't want heightened reality, it's your own house. Am I wrong, Chelsea? I'll tell you what I like at my house. Not heightened reality. I like home, sweet, boring home. So... But the absence of... And if you said, what's heightened reality? Cat 5 Hurricane coming right at you. After you're thinking to yourself, how is this even real? <laughs> Sorry. Believe me, remember that, Chelsea? I was. I mean, it was. It's, it's, that's heightened reality. So, you know, and my brother texted me and said, are you going to be okay? And I said, I feel pretty strong. I did. That's how I felt going into it. I run. I work out. In fact, I want you to get an elliptical, Chelsea. That's what you need to do for the winter. You're going to get elliptical. And if you said, I won't do it, yes, you will. You do it 15 minutes, five days a week that's where you're going to start but that's the only way I that's why I run and work out and do all these things I said I'm training for the day I have to be strong not just mentally but physically it's, it's true it's true and that's exactly how I felt when that hurricane was coming I, I told him I said I feel pretty strong I feel pretty strong I feel like you know that's just that's just how I felt I felt pretty strong No, you've got to explain to them that throwing the ball is, and if you said you couldn't get this dog all, all I'd have to do is get that little duck thing and start throwing it around like some crazy maniac, and this dog would be all out of control. It wouldn't stay. I'd be giving it all these corrections, and it would be thinking, I hate her. Anyway, I'm going to be right back, girl. I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to do puppy. I might have time for two more episodes. I'll be right back.